Hey YouTube. You know who it is. Or do you? X Fact Fitness. My name is EJ Dean. Um I having a good luck with my camera here. We recorded my workout beginning half. Uh I was doing uh back and arms. So it's a pull pull day for me. Um so that's what I decided to do today. What I did is uh, warmed up, my warm up, got on the bike, did my regular warm up. Um, you can uh, look at my videos and see how I do my warm ups. Warm ups the whole body, the core, everything hamstrings, quads, ankles, foot, everything. Just a whole full body warm up before I do my exercises. Gets me really blood flowing. Right in my workout, I would, did uh, um, a couple lat pull downs just to warm up the lats really good, uh, lightweight. Just did a couple sets to get that blood in there. Then when I started my workout, I started with uh, hanging, reverse palms facing you, eccentric, just uh, holding position as long as you can, lower, slowing, lower, slower, <laughs> slowly lowering yourself. Um, back to the start position. Rest for a couple seconds. Pull yourself back up. Lower yourself. You can do that three, four times, five times. Um, and then you, no rest. You go right into a uh, bicep uh, preacher curl, one arm. Make sure that pinky touches as close to your bicep as you can. And you do a set of those. And you'll switch. A set of those. Um, there's no number. Whatever feels good to you. Uh, get a good pump. Probably go until you get tired and um, go ahead and use uh, help yourself or have someone spot you. Do a couple extra reps, force reps. I like doing those on those. Really squeeze that bicep. Make it contract. Pinky close as you can towards towards that shoulder. Same on the other side. Then from there, you're gonna do some. Uh, you're gonna do some uh, pull downs, and I was using the preacher cooler, so this was a little bit more in front of me. So I'd lean forward, really contract my my scapula, my rhomboids, just keep keeping them together. Try to pinch your back blade, blade shoulder blades back and down. Make, try to touch your elbows together in back of you. So you're pulling back, back and down. So back and down. Squeeze. Pretend you have a dollar bill or something between your shoulder blades and you're holding it there the whole time. Really squeeze. Squeeze. Do that. Get that blood flowing in there. Keep moving. From there, no rest. You're going to go into your other, your other uh, bicep exercise, which is... Uh, double bicep curl on the preacher curl and you do that rep it out get a good pump and then from there you're gonna do your last exercise which is your rowing uh, you, I use the straight bar you can use later on after my workout to get a little more pump I did use the close grip one but you can use the wide one pull it in close I like a high movement kind of a little a little more than a 45 degree angle, kind of like a 75 degree angle. It really hits the upper upper back there. Um, Doran Yates used to use this uh, technique to build his thick upper back. And uh, that's the movement I was using. Um, then you give yourself a little bit of rest. Uh, when you start doing these workouts, you take anywhere from two minutes. Then start, slowly start cutting your minutes down to a minute and a half, a minute. Six, you know, and then to 30 seconds, you know, in between west times. You have to build to that, and uh, it just depends how you're feeling that day. Not to each day you're going to feel like, you know, sometimes you want to need a little rest longer because you need to recover. That's fine, as long as you're still getting your workout and you're still moving through it. Um, so after that, I did uh, two, three sets like that, and then I did a... Uh, bicep uh, hammer curls 
started out with a moderate heavy weight just to pump some uh, pump some blood into that bicep, just hammer curls, kind of like a pendulum kite moving, keep that weight moving. And the last couple ones you really want to squeeze and hammer them out. And then you drop set to lower rep, uh, like a lot lighter. So I was doing 45s, I think I dropped it down to 20 and just hammered a couple more of them out, get that blood flowing in there. And then from there, I did some uh, one arm rows. One arm rows. I started with the 50s, and and then did it to. I did uh, so I got exhausted of this, and then do it until it gets higher than that one. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Switching sides. Switching sides. I think at five, 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 until I couldn't do any more, and I was exhausted. And then I lowered the weight and continued doing it again until I was exhausted. Um, then I went to, uh, um, Jeff Cavalier actually does this one. It's kind of a sh no money curl and your palms facing in and then you go out to the side, in, out to the side, in, out to the side. And as, as the momentum going, you can actually use your knees to get that extra up and you do those, uh, till you're burnt out and then I did a kind of a spider curl um, but I extended it instead of uh, doing a bicep curl like this with either I do bands where the elbow goes past your ear you're leaning forward with the weight and you'll bring them up past your ear so the gravity is holding it down same concept as the bands pulling it towards you this way you're raising the weight up so it's really making that bicep contract and the further you pull your elbow past your ear, the more your bicep's going to contract. So I did those until uh, it felt nice and good in exhaustion and uh, felt really tight. So I pumped enough blood into there. And then I did some, uh, uh, another set of rows, like I said before, I did this on, on back on the machine, cable machine, and just pumped a couple more out, just straight towards me, towards the uh, bottom of my chest, and just ripped a couple of those out, really squeezing those lats and uh, lower lats right there, squeezing those shoulder blades together, back and down, and uh, got a good pump from that. And then to finish off my workout, I did... Uh, some um, hammer curls with light weight. I did kind of a kind of a drop set. Started with a little bit heavier, kept on moving, dropped it a little heavier, kept on dropping, and then kept on dropping. And uh, I think that was it for the workout. Got a good, pretty good workout. Worked my back pretty good. Got a good uh, body mind connection, and no more than 20 minutes. I think I spent in there from warm up till everything, just in and out really quick. Uh, more time to recover, faster time to grow. The more time you have to recover, the faster you're going to grow. Uh, hit the muscles really hard and really put 100% in. There's no need to spend hours in the gym. Uh, after 55 minutes, your muscles start to repair. So any longer than that, you should always stop your workout and just uh, start your repair because that's when your muscles are starting to repair. So um, if you have, you're in the middle of your workout and you haven't finished it by 55 minutes, might as well just stop. So well, that's my theory. Like I said, it's my own opinion. Um, it works for me. It may not work for you. Some can really go longer and uh, they get a good workout. It's all about staying fit and uh, just getting out there and doing what you do. My name is EJ Elgin, X Fact Fitness, Small Channels Unite. Start the movement. Catch you later.